Hello friends, is your information on the internet is secure? Do you feel that everything is safe on the internet? Not only Facebook, it also includes Google, YouTube, Microsoft and other large field. The chance of hacking Facebook and Google is about 0.00001% by normal level of hacker. But there are also professional hackers who can hack those fields. Many of the professional hackers used to do coding for hacking. But in this video, we are going to talk about three ways through which normal people can also have possibility to get access into others account. Here we are mainly going to focus on Facebook rather than Google and YouTube. This video does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All content provided by this video is meant for only educational purpose. Number 1. Phishing Method this is the method of creating duplicate Facebook login page. It is one of the most popular methods used by many of the normal users like you and me. After you create phishing website then you share the link of that website with your friends and when they try to log in by thinking that it is a real Facebook website by entering their exact login information, they get error. But their login information is already sent to you. So how can you create your own phishing website? Well, you can find phishing code and script on internet and you can download it and again upload it on some hosting website. Some of the popular hosting sites are given below on screen. 00webhost.com, xhosting.com, 110mb.com, superfreehost.info But how to be protected from phishing website? To be protected, then you should check the URL and confirm that it is official Facebook URL. This should be facebook.com. If there is any letter after and before facebook.com then be aware that is phishing website. And also you should never enter your login information to unknown link because unknown link has high chance to steal your information. This method only works when your victim is stupid and trusts you very easily. Number 2. Keylogger For this method, you need to get access into device of victim. Once you get access, you will need to install Keylogger software and you need to run that software once in victim's device. This software will record all the things that victim has typed on keyboard and once victim open Facebook and type email and password, then everything that has been typed will be saved and send every data to you. However, this software runs on background, your victim cannot see that the software is running. There are various keylogger software available for Windows, Android, Mac and iPhone. You need to know the installation process of keylogger software according to your victim operating system. You can easily find installation process on internet for those operating system. Now, how to save yourself from keylogger? The first thing is avoid giving access to your device to other people. If you don't give access then there is no chance of being installed of keylogger software on your device. If someone is able to install keylogger software on your device then you can check tax manager to see whether some unknown software is running on background or not. And also check list of install application and programs and delete unknown apps and software from your device. Number 3. Social Engineering there are lots of techniques that comes under social engineering. This might be most common method to steal password of author. The first thing that comes under social engineering is password guessing method. In this method, you try to guess common password of victims like name, nickname, phone number, pet name, date of birth or car number or email address or combination of these. And if you are lucky, then you can even get success. Then how to save yourself from this? Well, it is simple, you just need to set your unique password, you should not use commonly guessed password like name, phone number and combination of your public information. And the next method that comes under social engineering is password recovery method. In this method, you try to recover the password of victim account. You can get email address and phone number in their about page and Facebook ID from link of their profile page. Then you go to Facebook and you choose forget password and you enter their phone number or email address or their Facebook ID. Then Facebook asks code to reset password and if you get access to victim phone or email for a few minutes then it is enough to grab the code and reset the password. But if you don't have access to those then you choose no longer have access to these and you choose I cannot access my email. If you are lucky then Facebook might ask you to enter a new email address and then it will ask you to upload your ID proof. 
Now here you need to show your Photoshop skill to create fake ID card. You can simply get any ID card from internet and replace the name and photo and send it to Facebook. If you create a real like ID card then it will surely work. But if you don't see any option like that then you will get option no email access like this then you cannot go more than this and you cannot hack Facebook account. This method used to work a few years ago but now no more. Many people have misused this method and Facebook decided to disable but it does work for some lucky people. As it is good that Facebook removed that method and now your account is more safe and secure. So these were the some tricks that people use to steal password of authors and if you found this video interesting and informative then give this video with like and subscribe our channel for upcoming like this videos.